Well, hi there, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. We have already had some showers and storms roll through parts of the area, mainly the, from southwest Nebraska and central Nebraska earlier this morning. Those showers have really started to diminish in intensity. Now just some mainly light rain uh, from about Ord to the O'Neill area here as of about 720 this morning. Uh, so it's a little looking a little more impressive on future casts on what's actually going on right now. There's not a lot of activity out there. And I think throughout the day today, your chances of rain aren't overly high. Some spotty showers, maybe an isolated storm. I think more of our time is spent dry than wet as we go through the day today. Maybe a little foggy this morning as well. But with clouds around, it's going to be a little cool, but not bad actually temperature-wise with uh, warmer air in place even this morning. Uh, again, after the 5 o'clock hour, I think chances of showers and storms start to ramp back up. By tonight, I think a pretty good chance of showers and thunderstorms. An isolated strong or severe storm not out of the question, especially as you get in the southern parts of the viewing area. And then into the day tomorrow, still some off and on chances of showers and thunderstorms. Now, tomorrow may be the higher threat for severe weather, at least the highest of the next three days. It's not a huge threat, but a higher threat because there's going to be a lot more instability out there tomorrow. And then heading into tomorrow night, still off and on chances of showers showers and thunderstorms. So I think that Thursday night through Friday night time frame is our best chance overall over the next couple of days. As we get towards your Saturday, a dry punch of air, some dry air, tries to work its way in to parts of the area. Now, not all forecast models agree with this, but many are saying we'll dry out with the better chances of rain moving into northern and eastern Nebraska during the day on Saturday. Now, this forecast model only goes out through Saturday 7 a.m. here, so I'm just kind of telling you this. But if we can get some sunshine out on Saturday, we may get a little bit warmer on Saturday, maybe push into the 70s, maybe enough instability to fire off a late day shower and storm uh, Saturday afternoon. And uh, we'll show you some of those risks here in just a bit. Now, first off, the rain chances. Now, this is one forecast model, so you gotta take with a grain of salt. You know, you see a number like 1.61 in Grand Island. That doesn't mean you're gonna get exactly an inch 61 of rain. This is the American forecast model, the GFS. This one is kind of on the lower end of all forecast models. Uh, going through Sunday. That's when our rainfall should come to an end is on Sunday. Some forecast models are going higher than this. What I'm saying is my thinking is still pretty much the same as yesterday. I think one to three inches of widespread rainfall across the area, but then you're going to get those localized areas that get under some good thunderstorms and maybe pick up four or five inches of rainfall before it's all said and done between now and Sunday. So what I'm saying is good rain on the way because it's going to fall over a long period of time Flooding isn't a huge concern, and in fact, with the dry ground, a lot of this is going to soak into the ground, especially that first inch or so. So, again, I don't think flooding is going to be a major issue. As for severe weather, it shouldn't be a major issue either. Later today and into tonight, we're looking at that marginal risk, mainly in northern portions of Kansas. The higher risks are going to be farther to their southwest here, so I'm not worried about a lot of severe weather. Uh, large hail damaging winds the main threat. In fact, that's going to be the main threat the next three days. Tomorrow, again, the best chance we see some severe weather would come tomorrow. There's a slight risk down across northern Kansas, extreme southern Nebraska, and a marginal risk that gets as far north as Interstate 80. Again, maybe a couple of isolated reports of some large hail, maybe some stronger wind gusts with some of the stronger storms. Uh, the more widespread chance could potentially come on Saturday. It's a marginal risk, though, of severe weather, so I'm not expecting a big outbreak or anything like that, even with such a dynamic storm system here. Uh, but again, with that increased chance of some, some instability with some sunshine, that's why that marginal risk reaches a little farther north Saturday. So for today, temperature-wise, mid-60s up north. With Everybody's got a chance of some showers and some isolated thunderstorms today. The best chance comes in late today. A little cooler out west, upper 50s and lower 60s. To the south, we're looking at mid to upper 60s and perhaps some low 70s in northern Kansas. And to the east, looking at mid to upper 60s to near 70 degrees for afternoon highs. Again, any kind of sunshine would probably increase our temperatures just a a little bit today. Again, better chances of rain tonight, tomorrow into tomorrow night. That's our best chance over the next couple of days is that Thursday night through Friday night time frame. Then we may see some sunshine on Saturday. Better chances of rain start to shift north and east, but still a chance that we see something on Saturday. A 50-50 shot Saturday night and then a, down to a 40% chance of just showers on Sunday as we get the cooler side of the system working in here as showers will kind of work their way on out of the area during the day on Sunday. It will be windy on Sunday. After that Monday through Wednesday, that time frame does look dry but potentially I may have to look at throwing in a chance of rain Tuesday and Wednesday. Some forecast models are hinting at it. It doesn't look like a great chance at this point. The other thing I want to point out is those overnight lows starting Sunday night get down into the 30s. We could potentially drop below freezing in some locations, so we are looking at that chance in some spots. So I know a lot of people have started to plant gardens and flowers and things like that. Well, may want to hesitate on that one. 
because we could still see some sub-freezing temperatures. Even down the road just a bit, there are indications we may see more cold air on the way uh, towards the end of the month. So again, complicated forecast, a lot to talk about there, as you've heard me over the last five plus minutes. But again, I think the big story is the big rains on the way. So there you go. There's your forecast for this Thursday. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a fantastic Thursday.